That's away. Great. Okay. No, your audio is great. Hello, everybody. How you doing? Oh, man, it's good to good to see you all, and good to see you, Ant. This is um, I don't know. You've been doing the the office hours thing every Friday, right? Yep. Yep. Getting been doing it together on Friday a regular morning. schedule. And at least for now, anyway, that that's how it's going to be, because yeah. uh, it seems that that day just works better, and people have been participating. So I said I'll keep doing it and you know, try to help out yep. and answer questions where I can. Yeah. I'm seeing if this little stream yard thing is going to, it's going to push that stream over to my channel. All right. So are you went. logged in? Did you like log into an account? Do you have a stream yard account? No, -uh, I don't. Oh, okay. Yeah. I wonder what it's saying or, or what the actual option is then. Right. And oh yeah, there it is. It's it's showing up on my channel as I'm live streaming with you. Oh no kidding. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And you didn't uh I bet you is there a StreamYard uh watermark on it? Curious. Uh no, there's your watermark. So Looks you're good. rebroadcasting my stream. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. All right. That works for me. <laughs> That's so interesting. So, but YouTube doesn't. I'm surprised that StreamYard offers that. Somebody, somebody shook some hands somewhere. Huh. Okay. And I just got my alert in my inbox that hey, you're live on your channel with Jason Howell. So yeah, it's 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 gone through the API. That I've learned something new. I'll have to look into that and see. I'm so perplexed why they would offer that if that's not oh and then i see in my little interface a little pull down that says guest destination from aunt pruitt so it's showing me as the kind of facilitator uh -huh. that you are also broadcast i'm so fascinated that they allow this i could have right. that this was not allowed <laughs> right but they it's clearly like said it embedded in they clearly said one thing and did another the system that's so interesting <laughs> okay well if either of the channels get <laughs> yeah we'll find dang, out in, a, in about can, 24 we can, hours <laughs> we, can, we can point to Streamyard and be like this is Streamyard's fault it, it asked us if we wanted to do it and we did it um that's interesting hello everybody hello from finland wow Says hey me. chat good Nico. to see y'all i know some of those names in there Paolo, we're broadcasting. Cinder. Let's see who else we got here. The Ozone Nightmare, of course. I know that dude. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Thomas. Daniel. All sorts of familiar faces. What's Good up, y'all? Good to see y'all. Good to see y'all. Yeah. What's Cin up, Ant? Man, nothing. <laughs> just, just pushing, 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 pushing along as best I can. And as I told uh, somebody the other day, I'm just walking around trying to shake money trees. And yeah, and, well, and... that's 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 better than I. I, I. I'm not like shaking money trees that are out there necessarily as much as I am just continuing to like try and plug away and and work as hard as I can on the channel and yeah create stuff. And the hope that money starts falling out of it at exactly. some point. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. It, it's we we are on very similar paths, my no, man. No, we are. And, we totally are. That's why I thought like we should do this because yeah. I bet you, you and I are, are like encountering a lot of similar. Uh, I mean, I mean, the end of our employment at Twit was identical. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> and then kind of our our post work arc has been very very similar. You yeah. ended up getting. Um, getting a gig with ZDNet no, though. How, how is that going or has that begun yet? It has begun. I have written two pieces that haven't been published yet. Um, the onboarding took a little bit of, took a little while. Um, and just getting through their CMS was a, a bit of a challenge because I've, I've, I haven't been in, inside of their CMS in five years and things have changed and oh, I've sure. been in my own CMS with my own website. So I, my workflow is like, pff, I can get in there and I can just knock some stuff out. 
you know, mm-hmm. but this CMS, it, it it's a little different. And um, so I was a little bit slow, but we, I have two things that have definitely been written. They just haven't been published yet. Hopefully one of them will be published today or, or tomorrow. Nice. And you have to kind of wait for them to do their copy edit and, yep. and all that stuff. And yep. The editors go through and do their thing. Pick, pick a title that's Man. clickable. Do, do you select the title or do they? <laughs> no, I put my own in, but if they yeah. want to suggest something, they do have sure. a notation um, where we can change things or, or get back in touch with me and say, hey, we updated the title. Um, they're, they're very, very open book over there as far as the communication yeah. goes. It's, um, of course, everybody uses Slack, but then there's another platform we use for managing workflow. And it's, um, yeah, you, you can't be out of the loop with, uh, right. the, with Red Ventures and ZDNet. You can't be. There's no way. <laughs> uh, I would say one thing that I have not missed post-Twit is mm-hmm. slack <laughs> you know and no that's the thing slack. i un- uninstalled it on my phone i was like i don't need this anymore but see that's the thing i use slack for my family oh that's right you do mm-hmm. that's right i forgot about that yeah we don't do a group text message it, yeah. it's i i hop in there and i have channels for our general my world is on fire you better answer me right now i have a, the, the random section for us to just chatter about whatever is on our mind it's usually my college boy talking shit and sending me memes and whatnot. Um, and then I have stuff that's specific to, all right, this is your college channel. What's going on with your bill? How's your dorm? You know, mm. do you need food? And same for my now high school senior. He, he's got a new college channel now, and we have to put stuff in there because he's doing the registration process and and all of that good stuff. Because I, 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 everybody that I'm around is ADD. Mm-hmm. So I have to try to figure out a way to keep people focused. And Slack does a good job of letting them focus direct communication right here on this particular channel. And, yeah. and it's in black yeah. and white, so there's never any confusion. Yeah. How did you escape the ADD? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I- but damn it, man. I swear everyone around me in my world has some level of ADD. And, yeah. you know, I do my show with, with Queen Pruitt and – just doing the show with her yeah. it is hilarious i just sit back and That's laugh awesome. most of the time because i could see the wheels turning and and she'll she'll be focused on one thought and then something else pops in and she Oof. jumps to the next sub. <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah but it's good it's good radio i'll say oh totally no i love it i love the, the pieces that i've dropped in and and listening you're doing a good job of um of pulling out clips and and promoting them or at least you know spreading around i'm little, trying little yeah. nuggets from the podcast which i find to be such a beast in and of itself that is a job in and of itself Obviously, it is it is a job in it and is of itself. It people is. do that for a living um it is. and i just if if I wanted to do that effectively for the stuff that I'm creating, it would eat up the rest of my free time. And it does. Like <laughs> I'm just going to tell you now. A, it does. Yeah, it does. <laughs> because you got to find the thing, then you got to prep the thing, and yeah. then you got to put the thing all over the different platforms in the way that they prefer. Yeah. And you got to do that. You know, if you're doing it like the way that I think a lot of people re- recommend, you're doing that multiple times a week for one episode yep. to kind of keep it in people's, um, keep it in front of people. Keep, keep I've them decided remembering that, and knowing. I've decided for that for now, I'm only going to do two clips for now. Yeah. That's it. Cause that's, that's what my bandwidth can handle at the moment between getting that stuff done as well as trying to go out here and find clients, you yeah. know, cause is I still got to eat, you know? And right now yeah. that, sh- right now that show I had, originally agreed to do to do the show that if it could pay it, at least the water bill and right now it's paying half the water bill so it's almost there so <laughs> i got to get back out there, there and go. keep hustling keep there hustling to in finding clients out there so i've committed to doing just two highlight clips a week and it takes at least two and a half three hours you know to get that yeah. done um and, and you know yeah. sometimes i sometimes i don't remember highlight stuff in there so it takes time to scrub back through and find stuff but i've gotten into a habit of trying to like mark down stuff if it pops in pops up in the middle of the recording that's that's a really great approach and then i have templates inside of premiere to get me started 
So okay. I just really go ahead and just drop right into the template. I don't have to rebuild things. And, you know, the, there are AI tools out there. You know, you're, you're familiar well, there are. with Opus. Yep, I'm subscribed. Um, yes, I have a subscription. Your subscription to Opus. And I'm I've very 50-50 on it. I've I'm canceled very mine. Very 50-50 on it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was using it. I was month to month, and I canceled it because of the way it works and the process of it just trying to churn through. It takes time for it to figure out the stuff that you're trying to figure out and almost the same amount of time that it takes me to scrub through, you know? Yeah, I mean, if, it, if it's finding usable clips and it takes time to do that, that's fine given I'm freed up to do other stuff with that time while it's doing it. Mm -hmm. But I just kind of found, and I haven't I haven't popped in there in the last couple of months. I'm, I'm, I'm regretting that I bought a year subscription up front. I, I truly, in the beginning, was like, oh, this is the answer to my prayers. And then I just went, you know, because that's how they always get you. They're like, well, you could get a month, but you save mm -hmm. if you get a year. Yep. I was like, well, this I is better than it. the thing that I'm doing right Right now so i'm just gonna do it and commit to it and do it and i just found like it gives you 20 to 30 clips and some of them are okay but i, <laughs> but right. I still They're had to go in after the fact and do a, a bunch of like you know uh, editing to it and it was never kind of ideal i mean i'm that's I'm, the thing that got me was going back in and, and having to change use their interface the which is stuff. slow and, and I was like, no, you know, I, I can just do this myself in probably a, just about the same amount of time. And I have because I made those templates yeah. And, yeah. and just just That's, sit them out there. You know? Templates are so important. Um, <laughs> yeah. And I mean, I, I will also say I am deeply grateful for the fact that um, someone reached out to me when I was in the in the midst of freaking out about, you know, how do I market my damn stuff? Because I'm horrible at it. And uh <laughs> I, I won't call him out, but I will say, sort of call him out and say, hey, Al, good to see you here. Um, but anyways, he reached out and he is incredibly talented in this and just basically said, hey, can good. we help you out? Good. And, um, and so it took that off my plate and, oh my good. God, it's good. Like the, the world is, is like peaceful and quiet again because doing that was just so stressful for me. It, it was stressful because as you know, and as anyone mm -hmm. who knows, uh, who goes into business for themselves or is trying to start their own thing, like time is, as everybody says, a limited resource. Mm -hmm. And when you're starting out, when I'm starting out, like there are a million things that mm -hmm. I need to do, mm -hmm. you know, on top of the stuff that everybody like who's watching this stream or subscribes to the shows, like they get to enjoy the end of that puzzle, which is we create, you know, we wrote yeah. the content, we produced it, we edited it, we published it. Yep. And then there's everything that that's around that supports it and all of our ambitions to kind of grow, a, you know, the, the foundations and the fundamentals of everything surrounding it. And you just, mm -hmm. there's just not enough time to do everything as one person yet in the modern creator economy to start off, mm -hmm. you have to be expert in all these things have to be. It, it's it's so oh, funny. I remember speaking exhausting. with you back in, I think it was back in December. No, it was January. I want to say. Oh, when January. we got coffee. Yeah, and, yeah, and I remember uh, January. thinking about just the whole process. Was it started out as a bit of hurry up and wait because we had yeah. to build stuff. Yeah. We had to build things up. We had to get this this set up over here, fix yeah. this over there so it'll be ready to go when I hit the button. Um, go buy this, go buy that. Uh, uh, it, 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 it was a, yeah. a whole freaking process. And it's still Foundation. ongoing. You know, I still oh, yeah. look now at my studio. My studio still isn't where I want to be, but it is functional at the moment. Mm -hmm. So I have to just step back and just leave it be. Yeah, and yes, yeah. Ty Q, like and subscribe, please and thank you. I see you in there. <laughs> now, are you now okay? So, uh, peeling this back because you're rebroadcasting the stream. Are you seeing the chats through the initial stream, or are you seeing the chats through your YouTube? Uh, no, I this see is that just too. on your. Um, this okay, is only so on yours. I haven't even looked on my side. Yeah, no, I'm just curious. I I, I'm so curious how StreamYard is. is Let me see if it shows it. It's okay. <laughs> uh, okay, well, there it does give me a chat on my channel. But is it a separate chat? Or it the is same definitely one? separate because I don't see any yeah. of the other ones in there. Got it. Okay. Oh, but I saw your hey there. 
Yeah, interesting. It's because I don't yeah. see anybody else other than but Nico that popped in. It, it has like a little link icon above you, so oh, it might be okay. sending it to both. Or I honestly have no idea. Interesting. I have no clue. <laughs> as with so many things i'm glad um, it's working though yeah me too that's a that's a really cool feature i i was not at all aware that it did that um so you're using davinci resolve to edit is that right i use both you... i use both you use, uh, well, and by both you mean davinci and adobe i'm assuming uh-huh uh, davinci okay. and premiere i i started using davinci a handful of years ago and then got away from it because it just wasn't it wasn't up to snuff in my opinion uh, and then when I got my black, way. man, I mean, that's what I keep hearing. Real you know, talk. I do a lot of research about this stuff and, and people, you know, Da Vinci comes up so often and it's free, right? It's, well, it's free. Mm, mm, well, it's, there, well, there is okay. a free version and the free version is pretty good, but for the type of stuff that I do, I need the version that's going to optimize, um, uh, hardware acceleration. And the paid oh. version will optimize for hardware acceleration, but it's only three hundred dollars. Yeah, That's it, right? And, and one time, yeah, one time. None of this subscription. Bowling. No subscription. <laughs> and I'm I'm telling you, I'm an authorized Adobe affiliate, and I am an Adobe an Adobe fanboy, and I still use Adobe products. But man, DaVinci Resolve is like right there at eating Adobe's lunch from a video standpoint. Um, mm. It's it's really good. Granted, there are some things because I still use Premiere to do my highlights. There are things in Premiere that are just so much easier and look better than mm -hmm. DaVinci's. But if I just wanted to do some sort of short film documentary style or even my talking head stuff, I can do it in DaVinci quick, fast and in a hurry, especially if I wanted to shoot it in something like Blackmagic Raw because it just performs mm -hmm. so much fast, so much faster, or even using my Canon C log footage is so much smoother inside of DaVinci Resolve versus me using that Canon C-Log footage inside of Adobe at this time. Explain, so the C-Log thing, mm -hmm. what what exactly is that? Because I've done <laughs> some some reading about it, you know, and I think my camera supports it, I, I think. You had like a GH5, right? GH5, yeah. So with Maybe you, you, you have, uh, I believe that's V-Log. V uh, okay all right them. one of the logs my mm -hmm. camera does a log yeah it's uh, a log format and basically it's getting the, the information from the sensor it's not raw but it's 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 close to calling it raw uh, and when you get it it, it, it it's a very pristine. very flat image it doesn't have saturation or contrast It's very very right. flat and you have so, to put your hold on your LUTs that's right it afterwards right okay right. what's to a LUT? Apply. what the heck is a LUT? <laughs> a LUT is a look up table and in in layman's <laughs> terms i like to just tell people it's the initial filter that you put on top of your footage to yeah. make your camera's footage look right and there's different types of LUTs you have yeah. your you have your system LUT for that is designed specifically for your camera and then you have creative LUTs and a lot of time people will confuse the I two hear a lot about this. they'll shoot in log and they'll go and slap a creative LUT onto the footage and like man I just paid fifty dollars for this LUT pat and it looks like crap well that's because you didn't use the system LUT first and then oh, you put you, your... you got to calibrate it. You got to like knock it to its baseline with right. the system LUT and then apply on top. Now, as you're applying multiple layers of LUTs, though, mm -hmm. what does that do, do to the processing? Like, I just got a Mac Studio. Uh -huh, um, I saw that. Which I'm really happy about <laughs> um, because I was running into issues with my laptop, which yeah. when I bought it a couple of years ago, I didn't buy it with. 4k video editing in mind yeah so i made the case to, to my wife stacy and she was like well it's for your business you need it you get it yeah so i got it and i'm really really happy except that adobe premiere still you know when i'm when i'm pulling in some motion graphics and stuff like that yeah. um i'm having to do a lot of lit rendering every once in a while like i'll hit play and something's like frozen and i have to like stop and hit play again and then it like picks up weird yeah. little things like this so i'm already seeing little bits of performance issues does adding layers of LUTs which would be the title if we were to title this podcast <laughs> um layers of LUTs um would adding those slow things down even further 
Uh, it depends uh, because the LUT file isn't particularly huge, but it depends on the, pre the people that designed it and what they put into that, those cube files or 3D okay. files that they, that they design. So it, 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 sometimes you're not going to, you're not going to see any type of degradation. Why is your, why are you still ringing phone? I said, no, stop. Sorry about that. Um, That's right. I didn't hear it. <laughs> but yeah, you, it, 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 it depends. And again, Premiere it is just not as fast as resolve. It's just not, yeah. especially if you have the paid version, um, when it comes to the render and stuff, I, I don't know what they're doing differently at black magic, but it's, yeah. it's something that's faster and inside of premiere. Yeah. You can use proxies and proxies does speed up the workflow. Yeah. I, I, I've discovered that. I, well, I mean, I heard about that a couple of weeks ago and thought, eh, maybe I want to try that. But I mean, for the most part, since I've moved to the studio, things are moving way more acceptably fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was like the first few videos, like, like, uh, you know, full length, fully edited videos that I did for the channel. Um, with the laptop, I mean, it was painfully clear that like I was spending <laughs> at least 50% more time than uh, I would if I had a better machine. Uh, and gosh. so at a certain point, th then I started doing the math and I was like, okay, well, if I'm really committing myself to this long term, how much wasted time is that? That right. doesn't make any sense. Right. I want to be as impactful and you know, right. efficient as possible. So that was my case. Yeah. I'm really uh, happy I did that. That was the but, reason but why I, I ended wonder. up buying the Mac yeah. that I have a, a year and a half ago is because my, my Windows machine, it was all beefed up and so forth, but the Windows OS was just still craptastically slow in making yeah. things just, just crawl for me, and it was wasting time. And I was like, forget it. Just just bite the bullet and, and write the check. you know. Yeah. And I'm glad I did it. It's, it's been a night and day experience. Yeah, yeah. And you know, it's, it's, I mean, there's two sides to writing the check. On the on the downside, man, I got to spend more money. But on the upside, I got a pretty sweet computer now. I'm pretty stoked to use it. Yes. Know? And also, there's the fact that like my laptop, I was using for everything. So I go upstairs to do the podcast because sometimes I have to do it in the pod corner. Yeah. And we'd connect to Streamyard and be right, ready to go, and my computer would start being really weird and it would break the stream it would break like my video connection to the stream and then i'd have to yeah. reboot because i was oh. using it for so many things it was just bogging it down yep. now i've got this desktop which is you know prior to having that laptop i was always a desktop as my primary just because i like it to be i still am on that <laughs> i still yeah. am you yeah. know i i yeah. still am it, it it wigged people out when i said i was looking for a new machine and everyone kept saying MacBook Pro, MacBook Pro. And I'm like, yeah, I, I, a laptop just doesn't cross my mind when I'm thinking about I need to get some shit done. I'm sitting at my desk and I want a machine. Well, you got the space, the spread out, yeah. organization. Yeah. I've got this large you know, widescreen monitor. At the same time, now I'm stoked because I have both. Yeah. And so like, you know, on Mondays I drive my daughter to volleyball and she's there for an hour and a half and it's in a different town. So I'm literally waiting for an hour and a half and it's like, okay, well, that's an hour and a half that I can be editing video on this laptop. Editing something, you, know, you can do some pre-production. I've got pre a SD, uh, drive, <laughs> um, solid state drive that I just plug into the laptop. And then when I come home, I plug it back into the, the Mac studio. So I love that. Freaking yeah, love nice that. To, nice to be portable like that, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a lot of a lot of go. Um, how are you managing your time? Mm. Thank goodness for calendars, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I have yeah, I, I have no idea what day it is anymore. And it's been like that for a long time. I, I, I literally have no idea if today is Monday or Tuesday. I, I have to look. Yep, it's Tuesday, March 26th, you know, so mm. um, my calendar, I spend so much time pitching people and, and, and looking for gigs and doing auditions and stuff like that. And, and I just stick it on the calendar. And I've gotten to a point now where I will tag Queen Pruitt onto the calendar too, just so she knows because she'll yeah. go and ask me, hey, can you do this and that? And I'm like, yeah. And then my phone will alert me that you need to be heading out the door to so-and-so. I'm like, oh, crap, I can't do that because I need to go do this. And so yeah. I'm, I'm 
between that and trying to shoot these high school games and so mm-hmm. forth. Yeah, you're uh, doing it, a lot of that. It is. It, it's it's just the calendar. That is the only way. And I'll spend typically I'll spend Saturday evening or Sunday morning lining up my calendar for the week as best I can. Uh, mm, just 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 to go approach. ahead and knock it out. Just give myself about two hours between watching something on Netflix or or watching Mr. Sargent and Mr. Laporte over on NASA Tech guys doing their thing in the background. I'm going through my calendar and trying to set up, okay, I can go shoot this game on Monday. I could shoot this game on Tuesday. I could follow mm-hmm. up with this client. I could follow up with this rehearsal or this gig. And, 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 and that is it. But when the day of shows up, I don't know what day it is. I just look at my phone and says, all right, I'm doing it. It says oh. I need to be there. Go yeah. there. 10 o'clock office hours with Jason Howe. Got it. You know? <laughs> okay. I, I will be there. Cause it tells me to, yeah, sometimes I forget to look at my calendar and that's when I get in trouble. Having, having Tuesdays for 13 plus years be my Android podcast day yeah. and now doing Android faithful that keeps me kind of on track. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. See, that was Thursday. That was Wednesdays and Thursday for me. And now it's just Wednesday. And yeah. even that's been a bit of a shift because, again, we're just everyday people. So Queen Pruitt's schedule talking is getting shit. ramped up. Everyday people talking everyday <laughs> shit. Yeah, so her, her everyday is now ramped up because she's got more class and she's rehearsing for this this next play that she's in. And so... Oh, uh, right on. Yeah, That's so good it, news. It, so so it's still Wednesday, but it's pushed to a little bit later in the evenings now because it's the yeah. only way that we could really make it work. And what time do you what time do you record it? Now we record at ten o'clock our time. Oh ten man, PM. That's too late. I would It's I would, late. Yeah, that would be the most boring <laughs> podcast if I if I had a standing <laughs> ten PM podcast recording. I would so like far, my eyes would be okay. half closed. So yeah. far it's been okay. And that's been part of the fun because she's exhausted. So she's gonna say anything. Right, yes. <laughs> Her defenses are down. Her defense she's like, normally I'd be going to bed right now, but instead I'm sitting here talking, so you get what you get. <laughs> it's yeah, so funny, can... man. You know, but we'll yeah. get back to we typically try to do like nine at the latest or what have you, if we can do it sooner, but for the next com- coming weeks, it's definitely going to be 10 o'clock because of all of her rehearsal time. And someone in your chat, um, they asked me if I got it. Yeah. Cinder Fractal says, did you get a new photo of yourself with the beard for your shoots? And actually, I found an, a, a, a photo from a year or so ago or a year and a half ago. And I put that out there in the profile and it saved me because I have a photo shoot tomorrow and they had to decide should he have a beard or should he shave when and you say a yes. photo shoot they're shooting you or you're shooting at the photo shoot oh yeah i'm a, i'm i've been you're this is my model. second modeling gig tomorrow right. um, so yeah it's amazing it, it, dude I, I gotta tell you mr howell like i said i'm just trying to shake that damn money tree just shake it no kidding and if it if it's me shooting i'm i'm down for it but if they need yeah. a model i'll i'll st- stick my neck out there for that too and so far this will be my second gig and i'm looking forward to it the last one is still under nda i can't say who it was but it was a fun shoot i've been checking out to see if i could finally post the pictures because it's for a company that a lot of us especially in this tech industry are going to know and it was it was exciting to to shoot for it you know but yeah i I, the shoot tomorrow i was looking at the the set and whatnot. And I just tried to, I was just going to try to be on set as like an assistant, you know, to help out the the photographer or or help out with the gaffing and so forth. Mm -hmm. But I saw that they still needed models. (laughs) I probably shouldn't say this on air, but I saw that they still (laughs) needed, needed a model and the, the, the day rates that they have on there for the different classes, you know, that's normally how it goes. You get paid on a day rate. The day rate, was so much better for the model versus being an assistant and i was like and i can go over there and work a lot less hard on this set as the model versus going around dragging gear and yeah, so for sure i put my I put tell me my name out there <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. so i put my name out there and dude they sent me a message like within the same day 
like, sure, you're in. And I was like, Dude, cool. that's amazing. <laughs> that's cool. That's so cool. I remember the first time that um, I that you I don't know if it was the first time you revealed it, but it was the first time that I heard you talk about your former life yeah. kind of modeling uh, experience. And I think yeah. it was on This Week in Google. And everything. Yeah, that's right. It was on Twitter. That's really uh, cool that you've like re kind of re-entered. It's that. weird. It's cool and weird at the same time because that's that's at least 20 years ago of me. Oh, we know. I know. I remember the, I like, the picture of the photo. <laughs> at least 20 years ago. But mm -hmm. um, I'll take it if the work's out there and people people are interested. Yeah, I'll do it. Heck yes. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You know what comes up for me right now is is something that I've been kind of dealing with the past three ish months since the layoff and since really working on this stuff and hearing you talk about shaking the money tree mm -hmm. and recognizing that you know a lot of people when they're laid off their in their natural instinct is to all right well I'm I'm gonna hit hit the ground searching for this these opportunities because money is important it's important for my family i can't not make money because our family needs to survive it's like this survival instinct that kicks into gear when suddenly you have to um you have to kick it into gear mm -hmm. and when i look at myself it's not that i don't have a survival instinct like if if it really came down to it and i needed to i do what i need to do but um but I'm so focused on trying to put everything I have into creating some sort of content business that I haven't, like, I haven't even, I haven't even created a resume. I have not created a resume since I was laid off. And I haven't, my resume is not even updated. Um, my last <laughs> resume, probably 10 years old. Uh, Mr. Howell, um, hmm. Well, I have thoughts on the resume stuff. Um, yeah. Depending on what you do, they're not really needed, number one. Um, but if they are needed, it's it's something you should keep updated regularly. You For know, sure. with my, with yeah, my no, previous really like experience in, in corporate America, corporate IT and all of that, I, I got got my new job after working at a company for 16 years i updated my resume and at the end of the year i double checked my resume and put it out there because i said you know what there's no loyalty in this game mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i need to be ready and have my stuff out there so even coming to twit my resume was ready to go every year for the last five years and so smart <laughs> I thought those things. Oh, I should really update my resume. But like, you know, it's kind of like marketing my podcast. Like I open it up to do it and it's such a big task that I don't enjoy uh -huh. that mm -hmm. um that I end up not doing it. Yeah. You know, and 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 the thing Even is Even though I recognize how important it is. But what you <laughs> said is 100% right because we're we're in this space as creators and and we need to be creating something and that is going to always be on your mind and always be on our minds as it should. Um, so I get the struggles because you have to start, try to find that balance. Um, yeah. you know, that's why I said like most of the time, if I'm not shooting Saturday evenings or, or, or Sunday mornings are like my quote admin days. That's that's the resume stuff. That's the calendar stuff. That's the mm. all right. What bills are due this week? Stuff. <laughs> you oh, know, geez, that's a whole day. That's 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 <laughs> the admin stuff. You know, and and I try to take away from picking up the camera and clicking and, and creating something. Just and just work on the office. Work on the books stuff. You know what mm. I mean? Because you, you got to do it at some point. You know, and then yeah. during the week, I don't look at it as often. Because I'm hope, hoping during the week, I'm looking through my, my, my viewfinder, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or in this case, yeah. looking at someone else's lens. <laughs> yeah. Um, this keeps coming up, so I'm going to go ahead and put it on here. Tay says, definitely should switch on Super Chats if that's an option, Jason. It's not an option for me yet. Because this channel, um, Yellow Gold Studios, is a new channel. And uh, granted, in a short period of time, I grew up from zero to, I think it's almost 1,400 at this point. So that's a good, that's a solid number to begin with. A lot of people try for years to get that number. I'm super grateful for that. 
Um, but I don't have the total number of hours watched yet. I'm so getting folks, there. Please, please keep hitting share and like right now. Um, <laughs> I'm going to share it now because it, it does help. I need to reshare it, this one again on my side. So let me hit that right now. Oh, are you there. not in? Done. Oh, and uh, hey, and I see Joe Esposito on Twitter sent uh, sent out an update about the the Twitch channel and everything. Um, yeah. Yes, I understand. I totally recognize the need, the necessity for, for that stuff. And mm -hmm. I think it's just, uh, it's just something that comes up for me is like, damn, am I doing enough? I think that's, you know, constantly what I'm asking myself. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, like, you know, you were talking earlier about ADHD and, um, you know, and your, your family's, <laughs> your family's struggles with ADHD and like my family, recently... my coworkers. Oh my gosh. Yeah. All y'all like, oh, at Twit, man, was killing me. <laughs> y'all were killing me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm only recently diagnosed as of, you know, like late last year. And so, well, mid last year. Um, and, uh, you know, it's a real challenge for me now, now that I've got it in focus and now that I know so much more about it yeah. and I realize it explains a lot, there's a, there's a yeah. certain level of focus that I'm, that comes really easy to me. And if it's mm -hmm. creative, like that's, I can get lost down the wormhole for hours Dude, and not want to come feel back out. That. I feel you. Um, that. But if it's something that I'm the least bit uninterested in or not creative, um, or if there's a layer <laughs> or if it's of mundane, to, yeah, <laughs> yeah, mundane or a layer of, of have to, um, then it becomes incredibly difficult for me. And yeah. I can second, third, and fourth guess myself the entire way through and spend, you know, be like, no, damn it, I'm going to commit to this. And in two hours, I'm going to have this thing. And two hours later, I will have not done it, even though I, it's, it's like I stared at a blank. I didn't literally stare at a blank wall, but I stared at the page trying to make it happen, and I couldn't. Oh. And it's, yeah, it's a real challenge. Oh, it sucks. Gosh. Yeah, I used to laugh um, back in the days at Twit. Um, even if it's Mr. Jammer B or Mr. Burke or Mr. Laporte himself, um, yeah. just uh -huh. sitting there on the mic with the cameras rolling and literally just nudging him with my elbow like, um, yeah, so about that sponsor we need to talk about now <laughs> because you're just no, sort I'm, of trailing yes, totally. off. The... <laughs> oh, boy, producing some of, of Leo's shows, and it's like, all right, we should probably go to a break an hour later. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's, it's like waking up from a deep sleep, you know, like a, like a deep coma, like, whoa, what just happened? Oh, and I, I guess we should take that break we were talking about an hour ago. Yeah, you probably should. Man, I would yeah. come home, um, and and my family, we just they sort of got the the idea that when I came back from the studio, just leave me be and let me decompress because we've been talking for three hours. Oh yeah, and you sure. know I'm not the the most talkative person out there or whatever. So it's it's a certain level of energy, but then it's also the fact that I was battling with with ADD around me and I, I i do my very best to to be empathetic you know but as someone that's i am like ridiculously structured it's it's sort of yeah scary i i, I battle you know so when i come home they just sort of get out of the way <laughs> and leave me be <laughs> and i remember yeah. when i initially noticed it i was like you know i come home and all of y'all are just bouncing all over the place even the daggum dogs are add and then i said <laughs> everybody that i love at work has some level of add too what the heck did i do you know <laughs> what's going on it's like the technology industry doc Searles and doc Searles and uh, uh, uh mr uh rod Powell. oh god i love yeah. all those cats but it's so funny to see their add happening in live yeah. action ah <laughs> uh. It's it's a thing. It is real. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah. All right. So I definitely need to get a resume together. But I mean, even if I had a resume together, like I don't know what I do with it. Like, well, is uh, mine is out there on LinkedIn, and if yeah. I have to go to services like Indeed or 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 ZipRecruiter or what have you, they do want to see one. For sure. For sure. Um, the stuff that I'm doing with the VO work or what have you, they don't want to see it very often. Every now and then someone asks, but not very often. Really at the end of the day, it's like, they, they, how's your they, voice? Yeah, what do you sound you, like? Yeah, what is, what is, it? yeah. And, and, and yeah. what a, a lot of people are wanting to know, Mr. Howell, are video reels. 
And Mr. Alex Lindsay has said this for years. If you can throw throw together some video clips of yourself, do it. And, and it'll yeah, go a that... long way versus a resume. For so sure. I, I don't have a lot of myself because most of the time I was on the other side of the camera. Um, yeah. So the reels yeah, that I put do. together is for yeah. is if I'm pitching to be on the set of a of, of an indie film or what have you. Because I did interview for a camera operator for an indie film that's going to be shooting here soon in the in the area. I don't think I got it because I haven't heard back. But I needed to make sure I had a video reel that showed my my style, my my eye, mm. if you will. Mm -hmm. You know, and and that's that's still a resume, if you will. But it's it's just oh, a for video. Sure you know, but yeah, for it's someone the kind like of resume you, resume that someone hiring for a video actually really cares about is like, OK, well, right. Show me show me your work, you know, and, and as a broadcaster, because we are broadcasters, we should yeah. have video reels of ourselves in the broadcast world, you know? Yeah, that is one thing that I thankfully did take some time to do is I went through um, I took like an afternoon and just thought, like, what are the what are the moments at Twit? like the interviews or the, you know, just the, of all the content that I did at Twit, what are the things that I want to keep for yeah. either nostalgic reasons yeah. or because this would be, you know, good fodder for, for a reel of some sort. And, you know, like over the years, I, I talked to a lot of you did, you know, notable people and interviewed a lot of people and reviewed yep. a lot of products and everything like that. And, you know, th there's probably a really great place on LinkedIn for me to, you know, like showcase that stuff, but I, I just need to put it together. <laughs> but that just requires, that requires me to take my foot off the gas of this other thing mm -hmm. that I'm doing. And that's a challenge. Well, it's how not, about not this, Mr. Easy. Howell? It sounds like you need an assistant. Have you considered <laughs> that? That's a well, real question. Yes. Have you considered it? Um, I have absolutely considered what it would be like to have someone to you know i i sort of have a, a well i have a marketing assistant now like i was, I was talking about earlier yeah. so that's that's useful i mean at the end of the day like i'm not making any money like i'm making very little money let's let's be honest mm -hmm. um Same do here. i have the money to put into an assistant do i have the money to put into an editor and i know editors can be inexpensive if you go to like upwork and everything like that yeah. one thing that i've thought is like man in the old paradigm I produced the show, you know, created the script, sat down, recorded the pieces, and then I was done. Then Anthony or whoever else, Kevin, uh, you know, on the team, mm -hmm. um, took the stuff and edited it. And yep. then, you know, the, usually the same person published it to the stream. And then, you know, uh, we had so many people, you know, working on marketing behind the scenes and everything yep. like that. So my job was to create the content and then Give be done. Talent. Now I'm doing it all. <laughs> And absolutely, if if I knew that I didn't have to edit my content, um, I could produce three times as much as I do now, easy. Mm -hmm. Like I I just know that right off the top. Yeah. But I don't have the like I don't have the resources to hire That's someone right. to do yeah. that yeah. right now. Even though that might actually be a very smart spend, because it might actually um pick up more momentum on growing the channel and stuff mm -hmm. if i was producing that regularly so yeah so i don't know i don't know what the right approach is maybe i've, up I've thought about something it. like that is smart i i thought about an assistant myself um but again i i'm, I'm a bit of a control freak and yeah i i, I like order and <laughs> so far yeah. I, I i i handle my order and organization best myself you know um Mm -hmm. because again i could see that calendar but i i totally get the idea of having an assistant and i don't i don't, I don't think that's a bad idea for either of us you know no i, I mean i guarantee you it would be helpful it's just <laughs> you know like no question about it having an assistant would be amazing and Dude, i'm I sure that laugh. i could produce better work i used to laugh that when i started um here uh with, with twit it was so weird to shoot the show and just go home yeah <laughs> I, was, I, I got like, spoiled yeah. 
I was like, that's in it. That situation. <laughs> yeah, totally. Because I had been creating my own content for years before that. And so it, it was wearing all of the hats of, of being yeah. the talent, being the producer, being the editor, and, and the marketing and all of that. And it was really weird there for a minute. It's like, oh, just go home now? That, that's oh. it? <laughs> okay. I just do that? Are you sure? <laughs> you don't need me for anything else? Like, Can I at least yeah. put up the mic? Couldn't even put up the mic, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's not, that's not, a, that's not your job. Yeah. I mean, we're spoiled. That's a, that, that is an environment where you're, where you're very spoiled as a, oh, man. you know, Mr. Jammer B literally creator. slapped my hand one day. Don't you touch that microphone. <laughs> I'm yes. putting those up. <laughs> Damn it. He was, he's good at it. Yeah. I, I miss all of them. We need oh, to yeah. get everybody together and yeah. And like, it's, it's weird because I, I feel like. On one hand, I've worked my ass off, mm -hmm. and um, and I've filled the time working harder in in many ways harder than I worked at Twit because of what we're talking about. Just because yep. the distribution of labor was just different there versus now doing everything. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, like um, like it feels like I've blinked, and you know the layoff happened early December. Mm -hmm. What are we? Four months later? Already four months later? It's been quick, bro. It's been yeah, I remember at the time being like, okay, I've got some runway here. And it's now, you know, now I'm like, it's, it's, work. <laughs> it's been you a know. long time past. And the thing is, yeah. though, I, I thought about this here over the last couple of weeks because it's, it's I've been thinking about the future far as with my family and so forth. And you came to mind because it all happened at the same time. And I said, you know what, if there's anybody that's capable of doing this and making a go of it, it's the both of us. Absolutely. You, Absolutely. you, you clearly have the skill set and, 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 and talent and personality and charm. You can make this go. So I'm not worried one bit about Yellow Gold and Mr. Howell. Uh, I, 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 <laughs> well, I, thank you. I don't. You know, some people, I don't believe they got what it takes. You know, I've worked from home for most of my professional career. And, and I don't think anybody can just, can just do that. You, mm -hmm. I think you can. Yes, you have your ADD battles and so forth, but I still believe that you could sit down and say, all right, today I'm going to talk about this new watch. And you will spend two hours straight just this diving right through it that new watch right there you know yeah. so and everybody's yeah, not you. built that way you know when the pandemic no, happened and and the studio shut down and so forth i i literally smiled because i was like huh this is nothing because i came back here to my house it was already ready to go because that's just what i do and that's yeah. what i've done you for so right long in. and we could tell the difference <laughs> <laughs> it took a minute for you to adjust because you had to readjust your house and the family yeah. and the schedule and so forth. Out, is there a room I could even do this in? Turn yeah. out as the bedroom, yeah. But then when when it when it came to me, my family knew. Yeah, he's been all they know is I've worked from home. My kids, that's all they've ever known yeah. is I work from home. I go to the office every now and then, but most of the time I had a corner in the house or the yeah. in the, or in the apartment that was that's my it. workspace. That's you know. such a gift for your family. You know, you. <laughs> it is. I mean, it's it's really, you know, it's real. like that is one thing that I really love about this. And actually, mm -hmm. you know, even when I was working at Twit, yes, I had to go in and, and sit down on a set and do a lot of my stuff. But, you know, it was kind of more like a hybrid kind of it experience. It was. It was definitely hybrid. Years. And it was um, definitely so hybrid. I got more time at home. I got to see everybody, which is amazing. But then, you know please reference earlier ADD conversation. It could get really distracting as well. You know, I I just had the conversation last night at the dinner table with my wife, just about how, you know, even having a simple door would make a difference, but you know, this room is open to everything. So yeah, anything that happens is a, is yeah. a squirrel moment for me as much as I try for it not to be, but um, no, I think you're absolutely right. And we are, we are in a position to do this, you know, it's not a given, nothing right. is a given, right. but we are in a position with experience and, and everything. And, and, you know, just the, the fact that we, 
are benefited by the fact that we were in front of so many people through Twit. So we have a foundation, many of which are watching and listening right now. Mm -hmm. Hello, I don't everyone. take that for granted for a second. I, you know, I am so grateful for the people who have followed me for as long as they have. I'm sure you feel the same way that yep. are enabling me to start as if I'm hitting the ground running because I mean, you know, Tay wrote here and said, um, and I appreciate this. Said, Do you oh, see yeah. how polished Jason's reviews are? Like, oh, he's those been doing reviews this for a while. are freaking pretty, dude. So, I, I, I mean, I'm like, wow, this dude, oh, cool. he, he's, he's good at this. <laughs> well, I, I appreciate that. I mean, at the end of the day, like, a lot of people who try and get into YouTube, you know, to start as a creator, they have no foundation other than they've watched a lot of YouTube and they get, and at a yeah. certain point they realize like, oh, I could do that. I just have to learn skills. I might be new to YouTube, right? Yeah. In this fat, in this facility, yeah. but I've been doing this shit for 20 years. Right. You, you know what it <laughs> so, takes. It's just, you're new to the quote, new to the platform new you to know. the platform and mm -hmm. so you know so that's why i could launch and get to 13 subscribers in a month that's mm -hmm. 1300 subscribers in a month that's why my first video can be a highly you know polished edited piece which i'm very proud of oh that's um, great <laughs> and a lot of people you know they have to build for years to kind of get there so i recognize that there are though kind of the challenges that I face now, which is, okay, I can do all those things. For me, that's the easy part. The hard part is how do I t uh, take what I have and turn it into money-making opportunities? And is that brand deals? Is that affiliate marketing? Is that, you know, ads on, on uh, AI inside, which, you know, right now it's dynamic ad insertion, not making much, but it's making something. It's kind of like what you talked about. It's you know, potentially paying for the water bill, you know, yep. or something yep. along those lines. That's but I thing. mean, all of that needs to grow. And yeah. that growth is something that I'm not too adept at, but I'm trying like hell to learn it. And and I'm the same way. I, I, I'm, I'm not going to claim to be a marketing genius, but man, uh, I know that if anything, if I don't market myself, how the hell do I expect someone else to market? Oh, for sure. No, you're you know? absolutely so, right. So I will push, I will spam if I have to, and I use spam loosely. But I, I will promote the heck out of whatever it is that I need to promote because that's that's what it's going to take. Um, you know, my channel has been around for a while. But yeah, it's been gotta, but it's been quiet, you know, and yeah. since it's been quiet, kind of YouTube dormant. has just sort of put me to the side, you yeah. know, but now it's, I'm trying to ramp it back up and YouTube is starting to show me a little bit of grace. So folks watching, I'd you appreciate you subscribing me because I'm almost at 5,000 now and that would really be appreciated. Um, and you are but, live streaming your podcast. And I am YouTube live channel, streaming. Right? <laughs> yes, okay, I am. Because that's regular. Yeah. You know, because like when I look at my stats, I'm like, you know, on a week to week basis, like I'm I'm finishing up my finally my review of the OnePlus Watch 2. So that's going to go live probably early afternoon today. Mm -hmm. And when I look at my weekly stats, like my challenge for myself has been one piece of fully edited content to the site a week, which is a bit, which is actually a lot when mm -hmm. I, you know, when I consider the amount of time it takes me to edit all this stuff. Um, but I'm streaming AI inside there every single week. That's an yep. hour of streaming. I'm doing these. I should probably do more of them. That would help. Mm -hmm. I'm pulling out shorts from the content, repurposing yep. them. So when I get that end of week kind of roundup, it's like, you know, it's it's actually listed. It's like, you know, one video, two live events, four, mm -hmm. you know, I love uh, analytic uh, shorts. And I'm like, oh, well, actually, I'm doing a lot, even though it feels like <laughs> I could be doing more, you know, <laughs> versus some people that like, all that they do on their all that they can you know work into their schedule is yeah. to do one video every week or every couple of weeks but I'm a lot of those four people, or five things up there so i guess i'm doing okay but a lot of those people have teams too mr howell totally. you gotta remember oh, that. yeah they're, they're not yeah. solo the way they come off on camera they have teams of people they do. helping them out and at a certain and, point yeah and at a certain point i would absolutely you know i i would do that absolutely hmm. no question i don't know when that point is probably what I'm actually making. I'd like to do it to one of these it. days because my kids are, are, I think my kids are able to help out on this if they were, if they were enticed to do so. Um, oh, my I son, my, my high school boy, he's a, he's a photographer. And I, so I know he knows his way around a camera. And if he needs to jump in and edit photos, he can help out with that or what have you. 
Um, yes. And I know he's been interested in video because I've seen him edit some a video clip of himself like last year or not too long ago and just listening to him go on about, oh my God, it took that long to edit 60 seconds of video. I was like, did he edit yeah. in CapCut? I'm curious. No, he did it in, okay. um, um, I want to say he did it in Premiere. I want to say you okay. did it in Premiere. And then so, I mean, like, a lot of kids are editing on CapCut because it's the mobile thing. And it turns right. out CapCut is like actually oh, becoming stuff a legitimate yeah. edit thing with like all these really cool AI kind of integrations yeah. and stuff. All of those things yeah. work really well now compared to what they were a couple of years sure. ago. So I For was sure. like, maybe I could bring them on as part of the team one day. And that is a vision that yeah. I have. But first, I want them to continue to work through their current paths and uh, Richard Williams says two wonderful creatives. Uh, looks like a su super chat. Yeah, oh, you thank a, you. you. Got a super chat. I'm assuming that went that went to your oh, channel. I'm not. I'm not allowed you. for super chats, but that is amazing, Richard. Oh, thank you thank so you. much, Richard. <laughs> super awesome. <laughs> Richard um, watched the the show live one uh, last week because we were so late. He's in the UK, so <laughs> it was perfect timing for him in the UK perfect. to watch it live. <laughs> there you go. Um, Steve Mares, is it Mares, uh, says, were you guys is able to comment? see my comment by any chance? I, I scrolled uh, back and didn't, where is didn't it? see what you're talking about. Let me see, Steve. I'm going to check on my side, too. Uh, yeah, Steve. No, I don't Steve see Mares. it. Steve Good morning, Jason. Oh, there it is. Great seeing you, too, Miss. Steve oh, Mares, yeah, actually. now I see it. Thank Very you, nice. Steve. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, oh, this is fun. Um, I do, <laughs> unfortunately, at the top of the hour, have to go. Um, really? I have a, a Lottie's appointment at, at like 1130. I've got a few minutes beyond 11, um, but I will have to leave in probably like 10 minutes. But What can you say about your watch, man? Oh. <laughs> oh, you want to talk shop. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm curious because I have thoughts on these smartwatches nowadays. But yeah, okay. Well, okay. So first of all, my full review going up um, at, later this afternoon. Yellowgoldstudios.com takes you to my channel, but you might already be there watching this. So subscribe and all the things. Um, and it's yeah, it's a pretty sizable review. It's probably about 13, 14 minutes. Um, good, good. And I've been using it pretty strongly for the last month. I'd say kind of the Cliff's Notes version of my review is that the promise is that this is a battery beast and uh and in my use one plus absolutely delivers like oh, it is that it is probably the it is the, the best battery i've ever experienced with a device running wear os the one plus watch the original one had excellent long-standing battery but it was not running wear os it was running a kind of a proprietary OS based on Android, but it wasn't yeah. our OS. Yeah. This has the hybrid system. So it has two different chips serving two different purposes. One chip wow. devoted to a lot of the lower power uh, under, under layer stuff. And then on the other chip, the Qualcomm, that is dedicated to Wear OS functionality. And I mean, I, I'm regularly able to get four to five days out of it. Dude. On, on full throttle, AOD on, uh, always on display on, which is how I like my wearables. That's crazy. My, That's... my main complaint is that it is a, a huge watch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's... I mean, I'm I'm okay with that. My my wrists are big enough, but it's not going to be for everybody. Yeah. And and I'm pretty used to kind of the smaller um, Pixel Watch by yeah. comparison. I don't know if you can see. See, that, I always like wanted the bigger watch faces. Um, uh, that's why I used to like the Samsung Gear or what have you, because those tended to to look a little bit bigger on the wrist. And that right there, dude, you said the battery and you got that watch face size. I'm I would be in for this thing because I yeah. think I'm getting like a day and oh, my watch is charging. I think I'm getting like a day and a half on the Pixel Watch 2. And I love the watch. It does what it needs to do. But the day and a half charging thing, you know, I was like, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, for me, mm. if my wearable lasts from the moment I pull it off the charger in the morning to the to the very last minute I put it in the charge at night and has some extra so I know that if it was a, a crazy day it would still yeah. go the distance. I'm fine with that. Yeah. I don't really need to wear my watch multiple days. Um one thing that I think that that's interesting about this is you know it does the sleep tracking, which I'm not a huge fan of sleep tracking. I don't really care. But um 
but and especially because it's a large watch like i'm gonna go to sleep with this huge watch on my wrist you know that's what you need to do if you want to sleep track but when it does that it it um turns off the main chip so it's sleep tracking in the um oh, in the lower power low chip power and so even though you're sleep tracking overnight you lose maybe two three percent like it's Dang. very minimal because i and do so track my sleep and that's why i don't super want super smart have to charge it all the time because i want to sleep it with it on and a lot of times i forget to check the battery on it and wake up with the dead battery so i ended up changing my routine so now i will throw it on the charger every day while i'm doing my morning routine so it's at least 15 minutes 20 minutes on the charger okay. between brushing getting dressed and, and all of that good stuff yeah, uh, yeah and that seems to help me out and at least get me going a day and a half uh shout out to ozone nightmare mr esposito with the super chat uh, I'll leave it to Mr. Pruitt to split this super chat with Jason. <laughs> One way to get more traction is to just use the words. This is the video Apple doesn't want you to see. Boom. I know. Hey, I, that's, know. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Thank you, you for know, the super there's, chat. There's, there is a whole science to how you, how you title your videos. Yeah. How the and fact I get that, dinged. you know, three to four words in your thumbnail those words shouldn't be the same thing that's in your title it's just wasted re repetition yeah. um two to three elements in your thumbnails total some sort of emotion like i've been doing so much research about this stuff Dude. and trying to put it into practice and hoping that i'm doing an okay job with it <laughs> the emotions the, the thumbnails get me every time because i refuse to be the person doing those dumbass faces and there's a lot I, I will not even watch a video with a dumbass face on it anymore I, I just I just won't I, I'm not doing it cuz I'm not doing it yeah, you know but I've I been agree. fortunate with some with the show recently I've been able to capture some screenshots of of, of her making a face it's just laughing general generally it's just laughing is what yes, I will go with that's a good what smile I you know? totally a good well smile. and we had this realization or rather I started working on this and then I brought it to the Android faithful team. But, um, you know, we had a certain thumbnail style for Android faithful. Um, I had a th certain thumbnail style for AI inside that was just a little bit more kind of like official and generic. And, and I started doing all this research on thumbnails and stuff. And I was like, what if, you know, these shows have a lot of personality, but when you look at the thumbnail, none of that personality comes, comes through. It's like, profile shot of our guest and yeah. then a bunch of words yeah. and like an android figurine it's like yeah. what if instead i take yeah. the 20 minutes because it actually takes a while to do this the, this way but take the 20 minutes to scrub through each episode and find one moment where each host is reacting in some way are they laughing are yep. they surprised yep. or something yep. something authentic though something real and then right. line them up because there's some emotion. It's motion yep. that's from the episode. It gives you a sense of personality. Like, yep. you know what I notice is when I'm scrubbing for these moments, if there was a camera on me, all you'd see is me smiling for 20 minutes because <laughs> I'm looking for smiles. <laughs> and I've busted myself so many times where I'm scrolling through. I'm like, oh, 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 oh no, not that one. Oh, there's the smile. You know, I'm totally reacting to it. And when I react to it is when I know I found a good one. So I'm like, okay, all right, I'll pull this. So anyway, but it is a lot more work. It takes three times as long to make those thumbnails than it did the old method. Yeah, you know? it does. Taiku but. with the super chat in there. Thank you. The return of the dream team. Hope to see the two of you guys do more videos. Yeah, I'm totally Absolutely. down for this. Totally this, down this, for this. this Thank you. This is, this is fun stuff. I, <laughs> live, let's be real. Live yeah. is easy, right, dude? It like, is. It live is. is, you know, fire up the stream, <laughs> talk about stuff that's important, that, that means something to you, Yeah. and no edit whatsoever. It's None. the edited stuff that is, oh my God, like I'm so proud of the things that I'm editing right now, but then it takes so much work to get there, man. It's crazy. Man, it, it it it's 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 but it's worth it. I I freaking enjoy it. It's a hard, it's a yeah. lot of hard work, but I freaking enjoy it. Dang, another super chat, man. Ozone nightmare. Here's what are you the new doing, man? You need <laughs> Here's the how ozone doing. nightmare. You need to super chat yourself. <laughs> Take back some of this stuff. Thank you, man. That's really nice of you. It's super Thank kind. Um, we do appreciate that, dude. You gotta get out of here. Get ready for your appointment. 
Yeah, I probably do. Um, I'm also realizing my stomach is a little empty and I don't want to go to a Pilates appointment on an empty stomach. Completely empty anyways. I got to go buy an, a shirt for tomorrow, just a backup shirt for tomorrow. They, Did they our... tell this is for the the modeling thing, right? Yeah, they they have they'll have um wardrobe there, but again, you and I are are awkwardly sized shaped people. Yeah. So <laughs> I like to Outside make sure of the I norm have, for sure. Yeah, so I like to make sure I have my my own stuff there on set too. Um, and so they sent me their their shot list or not shot list. They sent me the color schemes that they want. So I said I'll go pick up at least one thing as a backup because I have most of the stuff here already, just to be safe. And then yeah. I have a volleyball game to shoot this afternoon. Yeah. Wow. Busy man. Yeah. <laughs> I need to be busier. <laughs> I hear you. I probably should be too, but we we had that conversation. Um, have fun, and this was a lot of fun. Let's do this again. This was uh, just yeah, my man. I, I'm, I'm just yeah. You you got my number. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's totally cool to be down. able to do this and yeah. kind of because we we are kind of on very similar tracks and yeah. uh, you know taking different approaches, but doing a lot of this, you know very similar things and. Uh, obviously have a lot of shared audience <laughs> and, and, and i'm always like down to, to answer together. questions of people in the chat too so folks if you yeah. ever have questions just just shoot the questions my way and and, and or jason's way and, yeah same and, and same i i reply to every comment yeah. um if so if you're dropping a comment on, in youtube and you have a legitimate question like i will reply and i will answer so yeah perfect yeah. And, perfect and on something like this in the future we'll make it happen again <laughs> Everybody, thank you so much for watching and um, and for sharing and being so wonderful. You guys are awesome. Like, I'm so grateful for all of you. And, um, yeah, um, later, the review hitting the channel uh, of the OnePlus Watch 2. And then uh, even later, later, Android Faithful. So, and then, to, oh, I should also mention, tomorrow on AI Inside, Sal Khan, CEO and founder of Khan Academy, is joining me and Jeff because I I had this really real quick before we go Dude. I had this um, really interesting experience where I was at my daughter's school and I help out there every Monday with like stuffing homework folders and stuff just to keep myself like engaged and see you know what the school work is like see my He's daughter in her class man. and stuff such a good man and um and the art teacher was there one day and she was giving this art you know, this art lesson to everyone and uh, an art assignment. This is the fifth grade, by the way. Mm -hmm. And so she gives the assignment and then one of the boys in the class raises his hand and he's like, can we use AI for this assignment? And mm -hmm. she's like, well, you know, probably not for this assignment. And I, and I like went in and was stuffing homework and I was like, man, like that's an interesting conversation. Mm -hmm. Like what, how are, how are, you know, uh, how is AI impacting um what the future of education will be because you know you this isn't the kind of thing where you stick your head in the sand and you just keep saying no 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 the kids know about it fifth mm -hmm. graders know about mm -hmm. these things and they're gonna use it so how do you how do you bring that technology into the educational experience with uh, in a positive way um you know how do you, how do you do that and i was like who would be good to talk about this and i was like well Khan Academy is very like forward thinking in yeah. education. I reached out and the uh, press handler person, really yeah. nice lady, said, yes, Sal's interested. So That's he's awesome. going to be on tomorrow. That's so. freaking awesome. Yeah, you guys going to talk about that. the st um, uh, Stability AI CEO? You're going to get into that too? For sure. For yeah. sure. Yeah. I mean, any of the, yeah, we'll, we'll spend the first half of the show talking to Sal and then the last half we'll... Um, check in on the news and i mean that's yeah one of the big stories so sure. i somehow hit my camera over here what did i do oh <laughs> you switched to obs input in Streamyard. would be my guess there we go is that um, my oh, stream what? deck was right here and my coffee mug hit it ah so okay I must, I yeah, must I have hit a stream a deck too. but i'm not yeah. using obs right now <laughs> all right i gotta go man all right sir good uh, to see you but, brother. Hold, but hold the line um i'm gonna end the stream Thank you, everybody. So great to see you all. Thank you for the amazing super chats and uh, for the regular chats and for all the questions and comments and support. Indeed. Can't thank you enough. And we will see you all very soon. Bye, everybody.